This is Sam with Civil FX, and I just wanted to show the interactive capabilities of the project Neon Virtual Model. So what you see right now is the uh, this is the existing model. On the left hand, you can see the menu, and on the right hand, you can see the phasing menu. And so you can switch between existing and ultimate, and again, this is all in real time. So on the left, you go to navigation and you can select different cameras. The white ones are still cameras and the blue ones are animated cameras. So we go to this one that will automatically switch. This, this uh, menu works for using with a mouse or with a touch screen. And you can look in any direction. If you select these animated ones, they move. And then the bottom shows a uh, Play, pause, fast forward, rewind buttons so that you can stop the animation at any time and then you can continue it. And then while you're doing any of these animations, you can switch between existing and ultimate. And as well as the preset animated and still cameras, you can also navigate using the mouse or the touch screen simply by clicking and moving with the right button or with the left button in any direction. In the settings, you can turn things on and off, including trees, buildings, signs, billboards, labels, and even the traffic if you want to. And then you can toggle touch input which changes the direction when you uh, touch on the touch screen and then you can change the time of day at any time as well. This can be used to see where the shadows fall or even if you want to make it a little better for rendering. And speaking of rendering, when you use R control on the keyboard it brings up the render menu. So if you click the video capture button, it brings up the render menu. You can do images, quick, good, great, or 360 panorama, or you can do video capture 1080p, 4K, 8K. And the reason we have 4K and 8K is because it makes the video look a lot more crisp, the lines a lot sharper, and then you can downsample it to a regular 1080 HD video. do that right now because I'm recording, but it saves it as a video file that you can edit and do post-processing post to add videos and everything else. Then we have an about menu where you, we can add more information about the project. We haven't done this yet. Um, you can also see the performance so that you can check your <coughs> frame rate. And then eventually on the right hand side we'll have full phasing and all the, uh, the sub phases so that it will go from existing all the way to ultimate through various phases rather than just jumping straight to it like it does right now. The Project Neon project, it's in Las Vegas. This is I-15. It's approximately uh, between three and four miles in length, the corridor is, and it's uh, the total project cost is somewhere over a billion dollars. Construction costs for this uh, phase is around $600 million. And our virtual model, it extends all the way to the mountains, but it increases in resolution and quality as you approach the project corridor. And then we built this 3D model using the design data from the design team, including the roadway model, sign files, striking files, landscaping files, as much as possible to make it as accurate as we could. 
for existing, we used existing survey and topo striping data to make that accurate, including as-built drawings for the bridges. And currently there's a virtual center. It's actually located near the project, um, right over in this area. And if you go there, they have kiosks where you can use this as a touchscreen and navigate this project in real time.